What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can literally flip books from Costco onto Amazon FBA. And it all started with a pretty crazy story. So it actually all started with this Bob Books Collection 1 set. I was at Costco. A lot of you know I have a newborn baby boy. I was going to get diapers and I just happened to have some extra time. I started scanning some of the books that they have that they sell there brand new and spent about 10 minutes scanning books. I found this book here, this Bob collection set and in new condition on Amazon at the time I was scanning, it was going for right around like 35 to 40 bucks. Now I didn't have access to keep unfortunately, but it was only about, I think 11.99. In, in order to buy these like like literally at Costco they had like five or six copies I said you know what let me just go and pick up some of them decided to pick up multiple copies and yeah let me show you my order page you can see I've been able to move quite a few of them for basically $41 so again I paid about $11.99 plus tax so if we go back over to seller amp, my all in buy costs for each individual unit is about $13.35 I was able to flip them for around 40 bucks each and make about $9 about, about $10 profit on each set and what's actually crazy is that you can actually go on Costco.com right now and if you have one of their members you can actually get the book set for basically the same price that I paid for in store and continue to flip this on Amazon. Now, what's super interesting about this Bob collection set is that I sold these in new condition and I kind of tell a lot of people like I don't ever sell books in new condition. And when I say that, I mean, I don't buy used condition books and sell them new. In this case, I literally had a physical receipt that said I bought these brand new from Costco.com. I know that a lot of people in online arbitrage space basically use retail receipts to back up and authenticate like, hey, this item I actually sourced legitimately. So I felt comfortable doing that and we'll see if that was a bad decision or not. So let me know down in the comments below if you think that was a good idea or not. But let's actually look at the Keeper chart. One thing you'll notice is that when you look at the black lowest use line that this thing is, you know, this book says really not worth that much money. It's worth right around like five to 10 bucks, but the sales rank on that's really great. Now what's interesting though, is if you look at that new price, that blue line, you can see it fluctuates quite a bit. It can be as low as like $16 in the past. If we look back a year ago, and it can be even as high up here at $49.99 now. At the time I came across this one at Costco, sales rank was great. There's only, I think, one other, or maybe a couple other uh, new sellers. And so yeah, I decided to list mine at 40 bucks and they actually all end up selling. And one of the reasons why I decided to buy this, by the way, is I knew that I had quite a bit of margin, right? If I was buying these for about 13, 35 all in, I knew that I can go pretty low. Like I could even go as low as 30 bucks and still make a few dollars profit. Now, keep in mind that this profit amount also is factoring in a $2.25 prep fee, which is not going to be you know needed in this case because I prepped them myself and sent them to Amazon. But let me go ahead and show you these on the actual Costco website and show you that this is actually profitable right now so i'm over here in costco.com i'm literally just gonna type in bob uh, bob books let's see if this actually comes up if basically five results came up and i'm pretty sure the only one that i scanned that was actually profitable is the one that i actually sold which is this blue collection one set down here these are these other collections has as well but you can see right now the price for these is 17.99 which is not the same price that i bought them for however something that is really cool is that if you come up here to some of my extensions and you actually look at the capital one extension i think also top cash back will show this as well if you go and click on capital one shopping you'll see that you can get it up to five dollars in rewards so if you have an executive membership which i actually do have not for myself, my mom actually bought it. I'm just part of her plan. So I have the membership as well. You can get a $5 discount for every one of these that you buy. So basically if you su you know subtract $5, the buy cost is back down to $12.99. I think that's actually $1 more expensive than what I bought the books in store for. But you can see that that would actually be profitable right now. Like if you could buy them for you know $12 plus you know, a little bit for tax, so you can actually make a decent margin on them. Now, if we go back over to the Keep It chart, you can actually see that there is somebody in the buy box right now in 1997. That's obviously brand new. Now, this is not a prime seller. You can see it says sold by you know, Got Books and ships from, from Got Books. But if we go over here and click on the new button here, you can actually see that it looks like there's just one seller, 1997. You can actually see they have 71 in stock, which is quite a bit, honestly. And then there's one other person with zero, basically 0% zero feedback in 1987. And it shoots right back up to 40. So you now it's kind of interesting that all of a sudden someone came on with 71 in stock. And you can actually see if you go down the keep a chart and you include this little pink button, which is the buy box new price, you can see that when they did come in the listing, basically the buy box price shot down. So it's interesting that you know they have the buy box. I mean, I mean it, it makes sense, even though they're not a prime seller, they are the cheapest option. So it makes sense that Amazon would want to give them a buy box there. But I don't think there's actually, I think there's only a few prime offers here. Let's see if we look at the prime offers here. We can see yeah, it looks like there's a few people right around like 40 to, to 50 bucks but yeah i mean very interesting idea is that maybe you can do some online arbitrage you know online book arbitrage from other retail sites like costco.com i just happened to do this in store and, you know again it was a really funny store i just happened to be there to buy some diapers for my baby boy end up paying for everything that i needed with the profit from selling these books might not be profitable right now because this person came out with 71 in stock but the, the premise is that there's plenty of opportunity out there no matter where you are uh, if you just always you know looking out for 
for what's in front of you, a lot of really cool things could happen. You know, I'm just at Costco, I was able to find some books here, or whether it be, you know, you're just happening to walk in through your neighborhood and you see a garage sale and you pick up some, but like there's literally so many places that you can find books. So keep your head up, you know, look for that opportunity. And I guarantee you that, that uh, you're gonna, you're gonna be lucky if you're looking. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you really enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.